hey y'all what's up welcome back to another vlog vivian here good to have you guys today we are taking a little day trip i want to go to zara but the state of pennsylvania does not have a zara so we have to go to ohio which is like two hours away so it's 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 a trip it's a trip but um i think zara is going to be worth it and i heard that there are some shops around there as well so we'll see what that's like i'm just looking to do some shopping around so we'll see what um we find but i just want to take you guys along with me we first have to stop at starbucks because i have not had anything to eat and i think i need caffeine for sure for this ride so i'm taking you guys along with me all right see you guys at starbucks i'll let you know what i get i'm not really sure what i'm going to get yet but um let's go let's go on this journey it's two hours i've driven eight hours before to boston so i feel like two hours is nothing i can do like anything after that other trip so okay let's go how are we doing today good how are you okay guys the bag is secured i got um I got hold on let me not crash this car I got the bacon egg bites I've never had egg bites from Starbucks before and I got a matcha latte and matcha is supposed to have like caffeine in it right so hopefully it helps because I am kind of tired but I think I will be good on the drive so you should be good let's taste the matcha darling Mm. so it's um a matcha latte with oat milk <clears throat> made with um two pumps of brown sugar i've never had that it's good it's like it has like a brown sugar taste i guess and i got vanilla cold foam on top it's really good in a patronizing way. I, I appreciate it. Only to grow up to tell me I was right. Well, because <clears throat> your father grew up. That's Guys, I just got here and they have a sex. I literally screamed when I saw it. Because in Pennsylvania, in Pittsburgh, they don't have a sex. Like, girl, we're going to smell all the fragrances. Hello. They have the best stuff. I'm so happy. Yay. Okay guys, we're at Saks and I love it in here. I have to find the fragrance counter. I have not seen it, but I love it. Like I said, Pennsylvania does not have a Saks. At least Pittsburgh, I'm not sure, but yay, I'm so happy to be here. Okay, so before I went over to the fragrance counter at Saks, I wanted to look around Zara first because that was the main reason I came and I knew I would spend a long time at the fragrance counter. So I just went. Okay, if you guys saw my last video, if you liked the vest I got, don't be afraid, like I've said before, to shop in the men's section because I'm at Zara right now and they have vest and it's in the men's department and it's okay. Like, who cares? As long as it fits you how you want it to, I think it's fine. Um, let me show you this one I found. Hold on. Like, they have this one. And I just feel like, honestly, if you want a vest, just get it. Even if it's from the men's section, especially if you want it a little bit oversized. So they have this one, and I'm sure that they have others. They have one right here as well. This one. So, do your thing, girl. Shop wherever you want. And they also have this one. And this one's really cute. The color love 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 this Zara has multiple floors cute I've never been at a Zara this big before so I guess the ladies section is upstairs cool 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 all right looks so spacious in here and there aren't a lot of people here this is the perfect time and this is what I'm wearing super simple I was driving so weekday uniform guys i've been looking for a leather jacket for like ever and this is a cute one it's cropped i'm not a fan of cropped leather jackets and it's almost 300 dollars, so i don't know if it's worth it because it's not the style that i want but if you're looking for a cropped leather jacket zara has them and they feel like good material like good leather cute 
guys this asymmetrical little mini skirt <gasps> so cute it reminds me of the brown one i got from here with the links but this is like given spring so so cute love 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 they have it in pink as well so cute <gasps> they're shorts it's not a skirt it's like a squirt <gasps> so cute so cute okay y'all um we went to zara now we're back at Saks, and i am going to smell every freaking thing because Saks has so many niche options that aren't usually at like a place like nordstrom so sweetie <laughs> we're gonna smell away okay so you guys can come along with me for that but we're gonna start with georgia And I've only seen this online and I've heard so many reviews. So girl, we're gonna smell them. So we can actually like learn which ones we've seen online that we actually like. Zhuzhov, that's how you spell the name. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start with this one. I don't know what the name is, but we're starting with this one. And the bottle, stunning. I literally have to like stick it up my nose to like get a, a sense of the smell. It's beautiful. It's not fresh, it's deep, it's close, it's very warm, kind of spicy. It's good. The one, this one is, um, it has oranges, fruits, musk, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. And it's very popular. Pure. Yeah. This and this finals. Okay. It's kind of like their idea of Wimbledon or whatever over there. Mm -hmm. um, so the Trino 20 come up first. It's a sporty scent. I know it has basil and lemon, but it's a very sporty. That runs mm. 205. It's like fresher. But you know, it's a. I would say it's a man's sport, but that doesn't women buy it too. So yeah. I mean, but this is Rose's Vanilla. That's a good one too. I like this one better, I think. Okay. I don't want to overwhelm you. I mean, I know. Do you this want to is try? Like, do you want to try any I'm of like these? in heaven. Um, do you like, I tell you, lovely gardens and like, but it's a real floral. But okay. a lot of people that don't even like florals likes this. I mean, it's a little strong at first, but the dry down's pretty on it. So you're going to get another little travel one of that. Okay, perfect. Unless you need to switch it out. Uh, there's a there's a Le Capitel. Mm -hmm. There's your Naxos too. You like the vanilla one. Mm -hmm. The only one you didn't try was the Alexandria. Okay. And that's a little strong, but it's kind of cool. Okay. So mm -hmm. you get one of these. Perfect. So with the purchase of this, which this is two fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this I as get a gift. A little gift. Yes. Perfect. And it has some of the different ones, not all of them. Awesome. And I love this bottle. It's beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't always look like this. That's because... No, sure. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, this is a very nice fragrance. Yeah. So I'm Diane Welsh. Okay, guys. So I'm going to give you my uh, cell okay. number. Okay. And because we work all different... I work four days a week. Sure. If you guys come here, please come and see Diane. <laughs> she will help you. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much. Um, you will see me again because this is like, I have to like smell everything. Like this was like nothing for me. Um, awesome. Okay, well, you've been, you've been so nice. Thank, thank you. You, so you too. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Okay, y'all, so when I got home, I was too tired to film, so this is the next day. Just trying some things on from Zara because their dressing rooms were closed for some reason, but I love this asymmetrical little cami. It's a basic. I love the pop of color, and it's really just um, doing bits for me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this because it's just such a simple piece and um I also picked up this leather jacket I'm not sure if I'm keeping it I do like it it's a basic and I did need a leather jacket it's a little oversized but I think it does the job and it's gonna do what I want and I picked up this cameo also in white because you just can't ever have too many basics and I like these pants because you know they were long enough and I have a hard time sometimes or I've had a hard time finding long enough pants because my legs are long but I think I like these 
piece and also this little cute vest um i'm not sure if i'm keeping i don't know i don't know how i feel about it L let me know what you think uh this bag i'm definitely keeping because it was on sale and it's a basic and i needed a new basic black bag and it has this little strap i took it off because it was doing a little too much for me but um after trying things on i was filming a reel because i got this really cute sweater from my um church's young adults group and i was just doing a little reel for that and i actually really like how this outfit came together okay i want to show you guys what i got from Saks. you guys saw that i spent a lot of time at the fragrance counter and this is the little bag that it came in so if you don't know me i love fragrances i really got into it at the tail end of 2019 into 2020 and it's just, it's become my thing. And especially I love niche fragrances, which just means that um, the company, the fragrance house, they only specialize in fragrances. They don't make bags, shoes. So it's not like um, a Chanel, like Chanel makes shoes and bags and clothes as well as perfume. But um, the niche houses, they only make perfume. They don't do anything else. And niche fragrances also have a higher concentration of perfume oil um compared to alcohol whereas more designer fragrances like a chanel or a, a ysl or wherever else that's like designer most of them have a high 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 concentration of alcohol in comparison to the perfume oil so niche fragrances um, a lot of them are like really good at projecting as well as lasting a long time because of the perfume oil so i love it and there's just so many out there which i love so i was very excited yesterday um and let me just show you okay so the company that i got the perfume from i think i mentioned this earlier it's zherzhoff and it's an italian perfume house which is really fascinating because i feel like most perfume houses are based in france even like the designer ones like ysl chanel dior like they're based in france but this is italian so it's really cool um and i've heard so many things about this company so when i got to the counter and i started smelling away your girl i went out of my mind and anyways okay okay so after I left Diane, I got in the car and really I wanted to rip open the perfume that I got. So this is Erba Buda from Zerzhoff and it's Italian. So I hope I'm saying it right, but Erba Buda. So this is what it is. Sorry, the sun is shining so you can't really see it. And you guys saw the bottle, the blue bottle. It's stunning. It's beautiful. I'm going to put the notes on the screen so you guys can see, like, you know, um, what it's likely to smell like. Um, she also included a sample of um, Erba Buda in this and along with some of the other samples as well. So that was really nice of her. She's so sweet. So when I got in the car, in instead of ripping this open because I was so excited, I sprayed um, the sample just like you know on my wrist and that was what I didn't do in the store which was so freaking stupid I don't care if your perfume costs twenty dollars or fifty or five hundred however expensive it is when you are buying it I need you to spray it on your skin before you buy because your girl did not do that which was so dumb so when I sprayed it I was like oh my gosh in love I love the opening as, as well as the heart but the base like the dry down on my skin it was given musk and this perfume does have white musk in it and if you don't know musk is from deer so it's supposed to be musky you know what I'm saying so it, more masculine but like you know they put musk and a lot of female fragrances as well i think this fragrance is unisex but most um it's mostly worn by females from like what i've heard and girl the dry down was too much because when i sprayed it i was like oh i love it i love it i love it and then two hours later i got home and i sprayed it and like i was smelling it as it dried down on my skin and it was given musk i was like girl i can't do this and this was not a cheap perfume you know what I'm saying? So I thank God I didn't open it because now I can go back and work with Diane and like, you know, find something else that, um, that I like. And maybe one of these, I may like one of these. And when I go, I can just get them, like get that one from the same company. I don't know. But um, a lot of people love this and the opening and the heart is freaking stunning. If it, if it had stayed there, this would have been my most perfect perfume right now but the dry down is what you're going to be stuck with the longest and this perfume is beast mode so it lasts on your skin for a while even like this morning i sprayed it before i took a shower just to smell again i took a shower with 
an African sponge and soap and water and I can still smell it on my arm because it's so like the um, perfume oil is just so high like the concentration of the perfume oil is so high so it's beast mode but like I can't have a smell linger for me too much musk makes me a little bit nauseous and I did not spend this money to be nauseous hello so I'm gonna work with Diane again and we're gonna exchange this for something else it may not be from the same house but um because my perfume is like low the one i've been using for like the past six months it's very low so i need a new one but i thank god i did not rip this open and that i still have the receipts okay so um i was very excited a lot of people like this and i think a lot of people naturally like you know would but for me that dry down so i'll let you guys know what I get next, um, I think I'm gonna go over there um, this upcoming week to kind of like, you know, speak to her and try some different things out and try it on my skin and even get samples if possible. Because girl, when you're spending this much money, especially when you open it, you can't return it. So as, especially because you can't return it, you need to make sure that you love it before you buy it. And that's what I did with the perfume that I'm wearing now. Um, and I love it and it was like worth the buy so I know I'm so sad because the bottle is stunning the opening notes are beautiful the heart is like it's just so oh like I just loved it but the dry down girl I was like oh I feel dizzy like it's just a little too much for me it's too musky and it's just it's not my thing so that's that and it is what it is i'll keep you guys updated i do like niche because not a lot of people have it so i do like to smell different i don't want the people around me to smell like me and i don't want to smell like them if that makes sense so that's why i do lean towards niche um compared to designer um, but they do have a lot of really great designer ones as well so i'm not mad at them but yeah i'll keep you guys updated but i'm gonna make some breakfast even though it's super late in the afternoon this is my first meal of the day i've been shooting and working and doing other things so let's make some breakfast Okay guys, so I am on my way to Walmart and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna come back home. It's around seven now, so it's pretty late, but the gym should be pretty quiet. So I like it like that. So yeah, and that'll be the end of the vlog. So come along with me, let's go. Um, I have to get floss at Walmart because my lights consist of flossing and brushing my teeth because I have Invisalign, so it is what it is good dental hygiene is always a win so i'm not mad but okay let's go okay yeah i'm back from the gym and from walmart let's do a walmart haul i did go in there just for floss um which i got so yay for me floss we got um facial buffers so when i do like my mask I can like you know take it off with the buffer so it's just going to help to gently exfoliate so i needed that um some hairspray for my braids um some jam gel for my braids as well just so it's like you know secure this is my favorite body lotion so far as of now, the Nivea Essentially Enriched Deep Nourishing Serum and Almond Oil Ting. Here it is. And surprisingly, I found some other things, some clothes. Listen, I will shop anywhere. If it's cute, I'm buying. I don't care. I don't care if it's Walmart, Nordstrom. I could care less. 
but I saw these little camis and let me tell you what, if you know me, you know I am a fan of anything square necked. So this little square neck cami, so cute. I love it and it was $9. Um, it's by Steve Madden, but it's not like really Steve Madden, it's like Steve Madden, but like I guess the Walmart version of Steve Madden, I don't know. It says Madden NYC, whatever that means, I could care less. Um, but yeah, I got it in white. And I got it in black. So just like some basics. When I find things like these, like I don't like to leave them because they're just basics and you don't know if you'll find them again. And I love the material and also the neckline. You don't see this neckline, I think, like often. So um, whenever I see it, I try to pick it up. So now I have extra camis, which I love. But that's all. The gym was good. Um, I like to go late, but sometimes like, or all the time, I tell myself when it hits nine o'clock, I need to leave because that gym is open 24 seven. So it's like, I don't need to be there past nine by myself. So um, I left, but I got a good workout. My legs were shaking. So, but yeah, hopefully in the summertime, you guys will see some tone legs and maybe a bigger bum who knows that's what we're working on that's why we're at the gym but um this is the end of the vlog thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think please comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys next week with another video please be sure to share as well and um yeah see you guys later okay bye